Good evening, what's going on there folks? Earthmaster here checking on, checking in on this Tuesday evening about 9.25 p.m. on May 26, 2020. And taking a look at the Earthquake Live 3D stream here. Shows quite a bunch of earthquake activity out here along the western part of the Pacific Ring of Fire. The latest earthquake being a 4.3 over here towards the western part of the uh, Indonesia Islands area. Kind of a migration of quakes going on in this area towards the west. Uh, there is some deeper earthquake activity there with a 4.6 at 557 kilometers below surface there. So major movement uh, going on on the Pacific Plate. Also a 5.2 out here in the Pacific Ridge. Um, you see that quite often actually. Um, nothing major though. No major quakes there <clears throat> for the time being. Uh, some interesting earthquake activity out here in North America along the uh, western part of the country here. Also a little three-pointer in New Mexico, I believe, or at least close to the border of New Mexico. Uh, they got this at 74 kilometers south-southwest of Loving, New Mexico, a 5.3. Uh, but it, I think it's in technically in, in Texas there. Um, but uh, just the coordinates are... Um, looks like they're in New Mexico. No reports of anyone feeling that earthquake there. Uh, zooming in here a little bit closer to the west coast, you guys can see an obvious um, list of earthquakes there. Quite a bit of an up uptick there in Nevada, also in Southern California as well. Let's switch over to the other map here where we can see, uh, well this here is the uh, Nevada region there where I visited a couple days ago. This is the one day all magnitudes there and it's uh it's pretty active and it's not in a localized cluster um as we're kind of used to it's more or less spread out here throughout all of these mountains here um let's back out just a little bit further so you guys can see what i'm talking about here still got that linear type movement there from east to west going on uh, throughout the Candelaria Mountains there, which I've seen, and also to the mountains there to the east of Highway 95, Highway 3 there, north of Coaldale, in between, uh, well, Coaldale and Mina, Nevada. Uh, no major quakes to report, but definitely an increase in the multitude of earthquakes out here. 325 earthquakes in this area just today alone. Uh, and most of them have been microquakes, although there has been a couple three-pointers there. I uh, got a three-pointer out there well east of 95, uh, up there in those mountains there that I was uh, videotaping there. Uh, but just looking at the last hour or so, you guys can see all the red dots indicating recent earthquakes within the last hour. Uh, and like I said, most of these are pretty recent and we've just seen a large increase in uh, the multitude of quakes there. So kind of keeping an eye on this area as well. I'll go ahead back out of the region there and check out Southern California. To me, I'm just I'm just seeing an obvious increase in pressure out here all along uh, the western part of the North American plate. Uh, Ridgecrest area seeing a little bit of earthquake activity. Uh, to me, it looks kind of like a moderate um, moderate aftershock activity, kind of what they're used to, I guess, if you will. Um, not really any migration of quakes in that area, um, but most of those are all micro micro quakes, if you will. Uh, shooting down south here towards the San Diego region there, towards Mexicali. We've seen a little swarming activity there north of the border. Um, go ahead and zoom in here a little bit. Just some microquakes going on out there, uh, specifically in an unknown area, or unknown area, unknown fault area, at least according to the USGS here. Uh, the San Andreas, or at least the uh, portion of it, the Brawley seismic zone over here sits to the, wet, uh, to the east with the dark red line, uh, which is a ways away from this swarming activity, but uh, obvious uh, earthquake activity um, earlier today. It started off with a 3.6, and of course since then we've seen quite a bit of uh, some smaller aftershock activity. Uh, shooting up the San Andreas Fault System, still showing no activity um, in the southern part of the let's get rid of this map here southern part of the San Andreas Fault System there. That's that dark colored line there that you guys can see. Um, and for some reason it's not wanting to light up tonight. Normally I can at least highlight this thing up and it will show you what fault system it is tonight. 
not doing that at all. But uh, it's obviously pretty quiet, folks, in this area. Uh, shooting up here, there's a little bit of earthquake activity, some microquakes out here west into the Pacific part of the plate, right? San Andreas Fault is that major plate boundary between the North American and the Pacific plate. Uh, Los Angeles on the Pacific side, the Pacific plate side. Uh, San Bernardino Mountains there on the North American part there. Let's go ahead and shoot further up here. and You guys can see uh, relatively quiet all throughout the San Andreas Fault system here. Um, into the creeping section there, some small microquakes. But uh, other than that, relatively quiet, folks. Um, uh, let's see, there was a little earthquake up here near Eureka, a 2.0. But for the most part, background earthquake activity relatively on the quiet side this evening. Uh, looking into Idaho, pretty quiet as well up there. Activity seems to be calming down as well up in that region. A couple twos and some uh, microquakes being reported up there in the... Uh, Idaho region, well north of Twin Falls up there in the mountains. And uh, yeah, so relatively quiet out here, folks. Um, not a whole lot going on, aside from the obvious increase in earthquake activity in Nevada. So uh, yeah, let's see what else we're going to cover here. I tell you what, my shoulder is still hurting, folks. <laughs> I read a couple comments there about a rot rotator cuff that could be uh, an issue with it, but man, it is bugging me. I am not joking. It's annoying. If you ever had shoulder, shoulder pain, it's, uh, I tell you what, it could put a dent in your overall mood. So anyway, folks, we're going to call it a night. I hope everyone has a safe night out there, and uh, we'll chat you guys another time. Stay safe.